Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand pointer assignment. In our previous classes, we have clearly understood what is meant by pointer variable and how to visualize a pointer variable has been clearly explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, uh, with the knowledge of uh, visualization and uh, what is meant by pointer variable what we will do is we'll we'll try to take some lines of code and we'll try to practice that kind of visualization that we have discussed in our previous videos so with that we are going to get a strong hold on pointers so that hold is very important so for that to uh, for you to get that hold on pointers what we will do is we'll try to execute each line of code and we'll try to visualize with respect to uh, to the memory okay so let's try to do that what what this line of code is doing is we'll try to execute line by line uh, here here uh, a variable i is getting created okay and next j is getting created with this line of code so in a single declaration we can declare the pointers also so far we haven't discussed these kind of declarations int i j pointer star p star q which means that star p and uh, p and q are pointer variables and they are pointing to the variables which are of type they are storing the address of the variables which are of type integers so i and j has been created the values for i and j has not been assigned not been assigned a pointer p has been created this is pointer p and this is pointer q has been created and uh, uh, with the this is the line of code so after executing this line of code this is the visualization that we need to have and the next one is p is equal to ampersand of i so p is pointing so here the initialization here the assignment of pointer has been done this is how the initialization is okay the address of i let's assume some 10 and this 20 and the memory so this 10 is getting stored in p means this p p is pointing to memory location 10 okay and the next one is q is equal to p try to understand this so far we haven't seen this point a pointer of same type can be assigned to a pointer of another uh, another pointer of same type if both the pointers are of same types means int and int int star p int star q means both are pointing to the same memory location say as uh, uh, both are pointing to the integer memory location so if that is going to be uh, both of them are of same uh, types then we can assign them uh, we can uh, uh, assign in this way so with this what happens is q is pointing to q is pointing to the uh, memory location to which p is pointing to to where the p is pointing to p is pointing to 10 so now this 10 is assigned to q because both of them are memories both are both are capable of storing addresses so this 10 is getting stored in q which means that this q is also pointing to q uh, also pointing to 10 okay so in this way so many pointers can point to the same memory locations try to think try to visualize that one okay so q is pointing to uh, 10 now star of p is equal to 10 okay uh, let's take it 100 so don't get confused 100 and 200 star of p is equal to 10 means so far we haven't assigned any value uh, to this i but by using pointers we can assign values which we have already discussed star of p in direction operator the value to which the pointer is pointing to that value is equal to 10 we have assigned star of q is equal to 20 again we are going to change because this q is also pointing to the same memory location now we are updating this value to 20 okay so these lines of code are going to be in this way on memory so that visualization is very important again this example this example is also uh, same of same type let's get some space okay here uh, i j p q same one i has been created and uh, this one j has been created 
and uh, pointer p has been created and next pointer q has been created and these are pointers okay p is equal to ampersand i so address of i let's take it as 100 uh, and this take it as 200 so the address of i is 100 address of i is getting stored in p which means that this is pointing to this uh, location q is equal to address of j address of j 200 so 200 is getting stored in q means that is pointing to that memory location i is equal to 1 so this either ways can be done by using the variable we can do or we can also use by using indirection operator star p star q is equal to star p star of q means the value uh, uh, the the value that this uh, uh, pointer variable is pointing to the location to which the pointer variable is pointing to at that location the value uh, is going to be star of p what is star of p star of p is 1 so star of q is also equal to 1 so p is pointing to this location and the value stored in that location is 1 now this 1 is assigned to uh, this star of q q is equal to p so what happens with this so don't confuse don't get confused with these two these two are different here the values are accessed here the memory locations are accessed q is equal to p q is equal to p means now this q will not point to this memory location it will point to this memory location q is equal to p means what is the value stored in p it is 100 memory location 100 and in q previously it is 200 now q is equal to p means p is equal to 100 will get stored here now q will point to this memory location we can change those locations okay so this this is very important to understand you have to get uh, this point and star of q is equal to p again this is the overwritten star as q is pointing to this location star of q the value that need that is stored will be overwritten with 2 okay so this is this is how uh, this is for the practice of pointer variables and uh, assignments hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching